Hi, this is Paul. I just came back from a six week trip and the whole family went on carry on luggage. And today I want to show you how you can pack for a six week trip with one carry on bag. Here is the bag that I carried. Uh, it's an e bag, weekender bag, uh, and it is a backpack style bag. So you wear this on your bag, keep your hands free, and you're able to walk around. But I want to show you the contents of this for those of you who want to do the same thing to show you exactly how you can do it as well. And we'll start with the front front pockets over here, show you what I have inside of it. Uh, sunglasses, which I find necessary when you're going to sunny places. This is a drain stopper. This is not strictly necessary, but a lot of times you go to hotels, later on we'll be talking about how you need to do laundry, uh, because obviously you're not going to carry six weeks worth of clothes in here, so this is pretty handy. It's a luxury item, but it's, it's pretty good. Sunscreen, obviously you always need some sunscreen. Okay. Then over here, I've got a spare battery, and this is a very small spare battery. It doesn't take up much room, doesn't weigh much, and this is the charging cable for it. It charges with USB, and obviously you can output the USB as well to micro USB. Um, in this pocket over here, I often carry my passport. Here's my passport. And then the other pocket up here, you can carry whatever you want, and obviously a pen is very useful for filling out the immigration forms, custom forms. And typically, I carry a Skyroam um, internet device as well, right over here. Okay. Over here, some probiotics, which I find very useful if you're eating at uh, you know street foods or something foods that you're not uh, familiar with. Probiotics help you digest the food better, prevent stomach issues. Uh, here's some antibiotics that I needed for something I got before I left. Here's the charger for my camera. This over here is a travel adapter. It's hard to find a very compact travel adapter, but I just traveled to Asia, Cuba, uh, went to Japan, Thailand, China, and um, uh, you know, uh, where else? Um, Cambodia. And this worked everywhere. And it's got two USB ports on it. I highly recommend getting some of two USB ports because that saves you a little bit of time as well and saves some ports. Just works by pulling out the tabs like that. Also works with in the United Kingdom. And people use those plugs. Okay. Over here, deodorant. Typically, I carry smaller, but I ran out of the smaller, so this is the larger size. I'll go over that in a second. Okay, that's about it in there. Um, then over here, this is a luxury item I like to keep. It's huge. Most of you won't do this, but it's the Bose headphones. Right now, I'm using the Apple earbuds, which are great, but in the plane, when it's loud and you want some peace and quiet, you want to go to sleep, or you just want to listen to your music without a problem, the Bose noise canceling uh, headphones are a little bit better for that. They take up a ton of room, they do fold a little bit, but they've got this great pocket up front, so I just put it in there. Again, it's a luxury item. Then inside the bag, also before I finish the outside, uh, there's another pocket. I don't really use it. I use it for some wet wipes, which I never used at all, but there they are. Okay. Inside the bag, this is the Weekender. Um, the first thing you'll see on top is my toiletry bag, and this is a very, very small, it's an Eagle Creek bag. I don't even think they make it anymore, but you can see how thin this thing is, uh, which is really, really nice. Uh, and if you look inside, I don't really use the top two pockets, but I have my floss over here. And then inside here, it's a couple things like this travel toothbrush. It's a travel toothbrush. It's not as good as your regular Sonicare or Philips toothbrush, uh, but if you hold this tightly down to the bottom, it will vibrate the top better. Um, if you don't hold it tightly, then just the base of it vibrates, which is obviously you want to vibrate your teeth, not the base. I also carry small, little small toothpaste. Um, if you watch the TV commercials when they put toothpaste on toothbrushes, it looks like they put this big dollop of toothpaste on there. You don't need that. So if you want to look up on YouTube what the proper amount of toothpaste is to put on your toothbrush, and you'll save a lot of toothpaste. So if you use a small thing, I used about two or three of these uh, on my trip, six-week trip. And then... The rest of this, I used a travel razor, and the thing I like about this one, it comes with four of these razor blade heads, uh, and they don't take up much room. They're thin, you just attach it, and this doesn't take up a lot of room. I carry some earbuds, because you often need that, and some aspirin nail clippers. Not much more in there. And these two are empty. And in the hotels usually have shaving cream and additional toothpaste in case Yeah, you I don't carry shaving cream at all. Uh, I just use the hotels typically have shaving cream or I'll use soap. I'll just use regular soap. Um, 
Before I get into this, you know, you carry all your clothes in here, but you also carry the clothes that you wear. So when you're, you're taking off, typically 80% of the time you're gonna travel, you're gonna have some sort of fleece jacket, a lightweight fleece jacket. It's important to layer. If you don't know how to layer, there's plenty of YouTube videos on how to layer, uh, highly recommended. This underneath is my first base layer. It's an outdoor research um, travel shirt. And now on the bottom here, I've just got travel pants. These are all detachable. All the pants I'm wearing are detachable, and typically I bring one pair of shoes, and that's the shoes I bring, that I wear on the plane. So you won't see any shoes in here. Obviously, if you need to bring some extra shoes, you keep that in here. All right now I have slippers on, but it would be some hiking boots is what I typically wear. Since we're on layering, this is a raincoat. Uh, it's a northern face, uh, north face raincoat, and it's pretty light, very compact, has a hood on it, um, very comfortable, goes on top of the fleece. Between a bottom layer and usually the bottom layer, if it's very cold, it would be a long sleeve or maybe a second bottom layer, and then a long sleeve, and then a fleece, and then a raincoat, you're going to be fine in 95, 99% of the places you go to. Then I use the e-bags um, packs over here. What I'm not sure you call these, but use these. This is a long sleeve shirt. This is a reversible shirt. I don't know who makes it, but I found it on Amazon. Nice thing about this is if it's clean and you don't want to wear the same shirts and the same pictures, having the same shirts on all the time, you have a reversible shirt, you can clean it, wear the other side of it, and or if you could wear it two days, if you have some undershirt on and you're wearing this two or three days, then you can also reverse it and it looks like you have a different shirt on. Um, this is a thermal shirt. This is probably unnecessary. I went and got some ex officio shirts now, so I'm gonna probably replace this, but it's a long sleeve and then another long sleeve. The thing I like about this long sleeve, it's a little bit smaller, and this one is an icebreaker merino. It's made out of wool. Uh, wool is very, very good. It does not smell as badly as other fibers do, so you can go uh, at least a couple days with a merino wool shirt on, and this is a merino wool long sleeve by Icebreaker. I think it's uh, Icebreaker 200. Okay, this shirt over here is a dual fold shirt. And then the pants, uh, these are not the ex officio. These I don't like at all, so I just ordered a, actually got in Seattle a, a pair of ex officio travel pants. And again, with the travel pants, they just detach they're at the convertible. bottom. convertible? Yeah, they're convertible. Do you like the Prana brand? The also? Prana is the best one I found, but I can't find it online. But the Prana is the one that fits the best. And then another one of these packs over here. These are my short sleeve shirts, and I did bring one pair of shorts. It's nice having a dedicated pair of shorts. And when you're traveling as a guy, having lots of pockets is a great thing. Uh, this is for a knife, which obviously when you travel, you can't use a knife if you're flying at all. Uh, but then you've got zippered pockets, which is great. And then you've got other pockets. Same thing on the other side. Um, you know, as guys, we're all geeks. We like pockets. Some of you aren't geeks, but I am, so. Shorts. Then the shirts over here. This is a Merino wool shirt. And all of my shirts are travel shirts. Uh, these are dirty. I'm going to throw them in the laundry. Um, but this one here is an ex officio, which is a great brand. This one actually is not Merino wool, but it's a travel shirt. It's ex officio. And I've got this in three different colors. Got it in black. I got it in green. Okay. And then uh, I've also got it in orange, uh, but that's not in here. And then this is a North Face. All these are under layers or travel shirts. This is North Face uh, flash dry. And the, the beauty of a travel shirt is it's going to dry quicker. So when you wash it in the laundry when you wash it in your sink uh, and you hang it up to dry it's going to dry a lot quicker and also if you're sweating it's going to dry a lot quicker so that's the beauty of having the travel shirts same thing with the merino wool this one dries even quicker and this brand over here is smart wool and you can find that on amazon and some other places it's called smart wool it's a really good brand dries quickly doesn't smell it's pretty good we also went uh, to places where they're swimming so i bring some swim trunks and then these shirts are clean. This is merino wool. Okay. And then another quick dry shirt, but I'm not sure what the brand is on that one. And then ex officio undershirt. I also went to a wedding, needed an undershirt, so I got the ex officio. This one, um, I don't know if it's got, which one it is, but it's, it's very, very, very comfortable, very lightweight, synthetic fiber. Liked it a lot. It has a honeycomb pattern. Yeah, honeycomb pattern on it. Then my final packing cube is right here. And you can see it's wrapped up in my push-up bars. Obviously, this is a luxury item. Most of you aren't going to have push-up bars, but I like to do push-ups every single day before I do 
uh, take my shower, so I bring the push-up bars. To make sure I don't lose a lot of space with this, I went ahead and put my packing cube and pack it inside that so that I'm not wasting the space inside of that. Okay. And then the packing cube, I've got six pair of underwear and socks. Uh, these are clean. How do I know they're clean? Because the outside, I've gone ahead and packed my socks inside my underwear, and these are dirty because I went ahead and put my underwear in the socks. So that way I know which ones are dirty, I know which ones are clean. I could just go ahead and wash the dirty ones and I don't have to worry about washing the clean ones. Okay. I also carried a travel bath towel. Um, this is again a luxury item. I didn't find myself using it all, but some people go to hostels and they may find that they need a, a towel where it's not provided to them. We stayed at hotels the whole time. I, I did carry this uh, when we went on a boat, although they provided us towels as well, so it really wasn't necessary. But it doesn't take up a lot of room. It's relatively thin, and it's something that if you really needed, you would be very happy to have it. Uh, it's just a microfiber towel. And speaking of carrying that, I'm going to show you this pocket over here. This is what I carried in. This is a, a backpack. There are dozens and dozens. This one's, uh, the brand is Modes, but there's dozens and dozens of these day packs. I bought three different types of day packs for my family. My wife had a different one. My daughter had a different one. Uh, they're all good. So I, I wouldn't fret too much. You know, look at the reviews, but you know, get the one that you think looks cool and you're fine. You, you don't need to get worried about the quality of them or anything like that. Some of them say they all fall apart and you know, this, I had no problems with the quality of this Modes. Uh, I'll just show you how that works. I'll zip up the pockets over here. And it's very light. And very it's compact. super lightweight. And you can see how it, it packs very well in your uh, backpack style e weekender bag. Uh, and there's this one has three pockets. It's got this big pocket over here, which I would put in the uh, internet Wi Fi device that I had. I carried that in there. My sunscreen in there, sunglasses in there, uh, spare battery went in there. Over here, I kept my lens cap. Uh, oh, got some more money. How about that? So, kept some money obviously in there. And then over here is the main pocket. And it's a very large main pocket. So you can put towels in there. You put, uh, obviously you could put uh, your layers, your excess layers that you're not using. Typically my fleece jacket would go in there and my raincoat would go in there and my hat if I wasn't wearing it. So typically the larger stuff would go in there. Okay. Uh, this is a North Face hat. I don't really think it's North Face because I got it in Peru and I think it's a knockoff, but it, it looked fantastic, and the thing I like about it, it's a wide brim. As you're getting older, you'll figure out that you want to keep the sun off you. Uh, skin cancer is not a great thing, so I kept this and the sunscreen. This worked out very well. You don't look like the, uh, the coolest guy in the world wearing this, but you'll look a lot much cooler when you're 80 and you don't have uh, skin cancer, so that's what I'm going for with that. And then I keep my cables in this very small pouch. I found a couple things for charging cables. Uh, it doesn't take much room. But this is, I carry an Apple Watch, I wear an Apple Watch. This is not only an Apple Watch charger, but it's also a battery. So it will go uh, three charges, I think it'll do, or two and a half charges when you turn this thing on. Um, and nice, it's compact. I, if you're in the airplane doing a, a uh, day and a half trip on an airplane, uh, your Apple ch Watch may run out, so the battery is pretty good to charge that up. Then I found this on Amazon. I don't know what the brand is. It's a, oh, here it is, Native Union. This is really fantastic. It's tiny. It's absolutely tiny, Native Union. And you can see it's very compact for traveling. The uh, outlet prongs go ahead and nest back into the uh, charger over here. And then you've got two USBs over here. And then on top of the two USBs of a light that comes on at night. Then I brought two sets of cables. I wasn't sure, these are short cables. The old thing I liked about these short cables, I wish all my cables were short, but this one has got a USB-C charger, it's got the iPhone charger, Apple charger, and then a micro USB, all with one. And I don't know if it does data or not, I didn't try it, but this is a longer data cable, uh, and this is all braided, so it holds together very well. So having those were good. And then another luxury item that I carry is a little portable bidet, right over here. This is fantastic, it's a large portable bidet. You go into uh, restrooms and you wanna be clean, this works nicely. I know a lot of you don't use bidets and probably don't think it's a good idea. So it's probably a luxury idea for most of you. And then finally, this is a uh, clothesline. And this one here is made out of latex. Um, found it on Amazon. And there's a couple different ones you can get. There's that Camco one. 
which is cloth or some sort of nylon, and this one over here, which is um, which is the latex. This one's not as long as the one you get from the the Camco, or one is a little bit longer. But the nice thing about this is it's it's plastic, so it's easier to dry, and it's braided where the other one's twisted. Uh, this carabiner did not come with it. I bought that separately. So this just comes without the carabiner, so you have to buy, and typically carabiners come two to a pack, so you end up with two of them, give one away, you don't need it. All you need is one on one side, because the other side you could wrap around something and then just loop it through. And uh, Then there's another pocket, one final pocket on here, I wanna show you, and that is in the back where I keep my laptop. Right here, you go ahead and you use that, and right here it has some files. And that's it, so that's how I traveled on six weeks with one bag on carry-on. Hope this helped. Any comments, put them below. Thanks.